Hi, I'm Bill Hedges. During this time of having to stay at home, I thought I'd show you my refuge in my lifelong collection of Lost in Space stuff. This is my office, and here's how my collecting started. These top cards in Viewmaster, and I also had the Aurora Robot. About anything that was ever released is displayed here. I even kept my Aurora model kit boxes. I think I have most every robot that was ever released. In addition to all the commercial stuff, I have all the scripts, copies of blueprints and production materials, and all the making of books to allow me to see behind the scenes of my favorite show. If Ron Gross keeps printing his posters, I'm going to soon run out of ball space. I also collect TV guides, comics, magazine articles, and fanzines related to the show. Here's all the scripts. It's fun to read how the lines changed from different revisions. But wait! There's more. In the basement is my secret lair where I build models and props from the show. Right now I just finished up a traveling man from Welcome Stranger. Through this door, disguised as an elevator, is my inner sanctum, my Jupiter 2 spaceship. Although it's a little compressed to fit it all into this room. And the lower deck is the galley. And of course, always remember to quarantine any alien papaya-like fruit. I don't mind the self-quarantine in here. We have reading material here. Looks like some of it was left over by the crew. This is my cat, Judy. She likes to hang out down here, too, as well as my other black cat, Penny. We have games, tape recorders so I can listen to music, or meditations of a galactic castaway, or I can read in bed. If I do get sick, the ion generator can help or I can take a drop of Cosmonium once a day. This is an actual panel for the observatory set, a Sage power panel. Moving on to the upper deck, there's a Jacob's Ladder spark generator. Another tangible connection to the show is the Burroughs Cartatron panel that was behind Penny's freezing tube. The transmitter view screen allows me to watch DVDs here. And these circuit boards are backlit, just like the ones used on the show.
Being stranded on this planet isn't too bad, as long as the force field keeps the dangers away. Of course, we still have to contend with some cosmic storms. If I do get cabin fever, I can always go for a walk outside the spaceship. I just have to make sure to decontaminate the hull. We don't want any nasty mold to start growing. And I don't have to worry about food as long as the hydroponic garden is here. If I want to leave the relative safety of the campsite, there are some ancient ruins nearby. Just don't let yourself get locked in. This mummy would like nothing more than to take possession of your body. There are a couple more things in my collection. Here's a Burroughs 220 control council, like those seen in various alien sets and even in the Jupiter 2 engine room. Also, if we go back to the other side, you can see some other props that were used on the show. This Burroughs 200 computer console is used in a few episodes, and also the Sage radar input panel. Over here are some of my replica props that I've made. A light panel and the ubiquitous light domes. Out here in the lobby is the Cosmonium statue, and since this was a movie theater at one time, it still has a projection room. And I also display lobby cards that show the cast in their earlier movies. We have just one more stop next door. The final loss of Space Annex is a work in progress. I was running out of room to display larger props models, so I moved them in here. My own little personal Lost in Space Museum. I'm still working on more models and props, and they'll all go in here. This is a four foot Jupiter II the same size as the filming miniature. Also some original props. This programmer panel is the same one that Dr. Cronus used in the Time Merchant. This is a diorama of stage 11 in 187th scale. All these spaceships and props are scratch built and some of them were built by uh, good friends of mine.
So this is where I hole up to quarantine myself for the duration, or where I hole up in general. I hope everyone stays safe, and I look forward to seeing friends and visitors again when this is all over. Take care.